What do humans, elephants and chickens all have in common? Sex and, and eyes. So to tell us all about sex toys and where to put them, it's historian Donald Greenacres. Hello. So Donald, speaking as a historian, what's the oldest thing anyone's ever put up themselves? The oldest item believed to be for that purpose is 28,000 years old. So, dinosaur times? No. The Tudors? Closer to caveman times. So, hang on. Dildos have existed for longer than shoes. Yes, longer than a lot of things. Cheese. <laughs> Why would you mention cheese in a hot tub like some sort of Scandinavian perv? Um, female sex toys have existed for thousands of years. In fact, there are unconfirmed accounts of Cleopatra making the first vibrator by filling a gourd full of angry bees. Gross. Who wouldn't be angry if an ancient queen tried to put you and all your mates up her, like, lady flute? To get a similar effect, ancient Greeks put the tail of a live snake inside themselves. I will never take Anne Summers for granted again. What is wrong with this thing? Today's sexy question! Donald, did the Nazis invent sex dolls? Well... Welcome, Rags, you're a Himmler. Come, come quickly. I have invented the ultimate weapon, a device that will tip the scales of war and bring the Allies crawling on their knees for mercy. Mein Reichsführer, I give you Project Borghild. Um, what the hell is that? Project Borghild, I thought I was pretty clear. Yeah, sure. But, um, does it explode or something? No, no, you have sex with it. Okay. And then does it explode? Uh, no. It stops us soldiers getting sexually transmitted diseases. Instead of sleeping with prostitutes, they sleep with... Borghild, okay, I see. You don't like it, do you? No, no, it's great and everything. I'm just not sure our stormtroopers are going to want to carry her around with them. They may get laughed at, you know. Hey, look, there go the Nazis and their inflatable girlfriends. Oh. Yeah. But you want to go on her? Oh, yeah, I totally want to go on her. So that's a yes, then? No. Non-blow-up dolls existed long before the Second World War, and, um... Ooh. Just ignore it. This tale of blow-up sex dolls is actually believed to have been a hoax to make the Nazis look bad. To make the Nazis look bad? OK, I see the problem. Yeah. <sighs> There you go. Thank you, Mr. Repairman. Sorry, what are we doing? Mr. Repairman, your question's on sex toys. Eh? Start now. The earliest known sex dolls were called Dames de Voyage and were used by 17th century sailors. But what were they made of? A, old clothes, B, the captain's hat, or C, the ship's parrot? What is this? No, the answer is A, sewn cloth or old rags. In ancient Greece, soldiers going off to war would sometimes give their wives a replacement penis called an olispokolikes. What was it made of? A. Food B. Balsa wood Or C. The family pet Is this how you two get your kicks or something? No, they were made of bread. In medieval times, something called a Cantonese groin was used as a rudimentary dildo. But what was it? A. Seven chopsticks tied together B. 
be a soggy plant or C, an unlit firework. I want to go home. No, it was a penis-shaped plant. I don't like it. Sit down, silly. We're almost done. And for your final question. In the time remaining, how many of the sex toys on Donald's tray... <coughs> Looks a bit like we're in a bowl of butt plug soup, doesn't it? <laughs>